Hi folks, this is Glenn Guy, your travel photography guru. Well, I went out for a sunset um, photography session and uh, missed it, uh, not by much, um, but it was really kind of um, a recce in a way, just to see what was possible in my area, a lot of which I haven't photographed in quite some time. So what I tend to do is I, when things go wrong like that, I try to use the op, uh, to use it as an opportunity because, <laughs> you know, I'm off my seat, I'm away from the computer, and, and I'm out in the world, breathing the air. So, you know, I just go for a walk, zen out a little bit, uh, and I don't so much go looking for things to photograph, but probably because of the time of day and also the fact that my um, uh, my attitude is 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 right. I'd like to think I end up with um, I end up seeing things. Uh, and of course, you know, it is that time of day when the light's really nice. So even after the sun's gone down, uh, the light can be really, really beautiful. The afterglow, uh, there's still a little bit of pink light on my face, I think. And, um, you know, into the dusk. It's, you know, it's a very quiet, still time of evening, of course. You may hear some noise in the background. I'm um, uh, just adjacent to the Eastern Freeway uh, in Melbourne, very close to where I live. And I'm at this place, um, it's a fly fishing practice area. And I've only been here once before. You know, as the crow flies, it's probably a kilometre from where I live. Uh, oh, if that. So um, it's strange, you know, I haven't been back here for a long time. It's kind of hidden away. Um, but let me see if I can um, uh, share some of it with you. What, what happens is that um, uh, folks come here to, uh, yeah, there we go to uh, practice their fly fishing, which is just fantastic, so close to the city. There's a series of these pools, but for some reason, um, um, I think two or three of them have been drained. This is the only one that remains. And depending on what time of day you come here, um, you might get nice reflections in the water of the, the sky, of course, uh, of the morning or evening light, and also of those trees, uh, because uh, as the sun is quite low in the sky, it would um, cast a shadow of the trees across the water. You can notice too how the light has changed. Um, even though the sun's probably gone down 15 minutes ago, um, there's still that little bit of afterglow. And it's a very soft, uh, flattering light, and it's got some warmth to it. Um, so, you know, I'm just wandering around. I've got my um, Peak Design uh, backpack on, which is a nice portable uh, little backpack and basically carries all the gear I need for most of the photography I do. Um, and, you know, it's nice and freewheeling and um, uh, easy to manage. Um, so yeah, I'm just enjoying it. I'm going to continue to walk around and explore. I'm not really um, expecting to take a picture. I don't have a tripod with me at the moment. I could still make some images in um, uh, if the camera is where you are now, if you like, you know, in this direction. Uh, but I don't think there's anything really suitable for me to photograph at the moment. I would make a portrait if I was here under this light with someone other than me to photograph. But anyway, just um, a few ideas. I think probably the last thing is um, that, you know, it, things go wrong. We don't always uh, get the um, expectations of problems. We don't always get the image we're hoping to make. So what's important then is just to be open to the possibilities that are available to you at that location, either at that time or maybe at a subsequent time. So you think, well, it's a great spot. Maybe it'd be better to come back um, morning rather than um, early evening just as an example. Anyway, um, nice talking to you. Uh, this is Glenn Guy, your travel photography guru, and we'll see you in an upcoming vid real soon. Bye for now.